Currently, there's a race towards cold fusion, trying to figure out how to create cold fusion, then create energy from it. It involves a process of taking a metal and then infusing it with energy, and then the energy that goes into it amplifies itself in basics and then gives you more energy back as a heat source. It's a great idea. However, what if we took it a little bit further and we turned them into rods? What if you made them into cold fusion rods, not unlike a lightning rod, put them in the ground and created the plant, the power plant system underneath them and put them in places like the Midwest, the United States, so that lightning would strike them. And then because of the catalyst of lightning, you would have the ability to have as much energy as you needed. And obviously the rod itself could only take so much energy into it. It would be palladium, tritonium. I don't have tritonium here. Yeah, you guys need tritonium. You need to figure that one out. Um, and then it would go in and it would hyperaccelerate it, and then it would have such a burn-off time from it after it got hit with lightning the first time. You would essentially just allow it to be hit once and then ground it from alternative ways. So the rod comes out of the ground, the plant's under the ground like this here, and then from outside of it goes the energy source. So when the lightning hits it, creates its own reaction within it and then you disperse the energy effectively but after the first hit because you don't want too much energy in it you just put a grounding wire on top of it so it grounds it off left and right across and up and down <clears throat> east and west north and south and then you don't have to worry about excess energy hitting that same unit so you can basically charge that unit and charge a unit next to it and charge a unit next to it and depending on the crystalline form inside of the metal that you're using and depending on the substrate of that which you know a good aluminum substrate would be um, wonderful and then you would be able to make massive amounts of energy well you'd be taking a massive amount of energy and then using the energy that's within the lightning itself as a recoil method to remove that energy and use it in a form that we can actually stabilize and so stabilizing a lightning bolt would give you an infinite amount of energy infinite because one lightning bolt could power a city for a week month how long anyways good luck with that humans